Today we take you to meet Ertuğru Bastug, a Turkish player who plays for a soccer club in Taipei called the FC Vikings. Bastug played soccer in Turkey, but due to a knee injury, he took a few years off to travel around Asia. He came to Taiwan in 2020, fell in love with the country and started playing for the FC Vikings. The team recently won first place in Division II and moved up to the Premier League. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang has the story. <laughs> he warms up with his coach, discussing different tactics. This is Ertu Bastug from Turkey. He's a player for FC Vikings. The team recently placed first in Division II and moved up to the Premier League. I started to play football when I was kids, seven or eight years old. And then Turkey, we have a good academy in Basakşehir in Istanbul, in a good team. Uh, why I come to Taiwan? I don't the first is the beautiful country and then beautiful people. I like the Taiwanese food and then I have it right now is good team, you know, Vikings, and then I'm really excited to play with them. And then last last season we got the champions for Vikings and then I'm super happy. Bastu grew up in Turkey, where he started football training at a young age. Due to a knee injury when he was 19, he took a break and traveled around the world. He moved to Taiwan in 2020 after visiting over 20 countries. He decided to stay in Taiwan and continue his dream of playing football. I, I got the injury when I was 19, my knee broke. And then after I stopped the one or two years in the football. And then after when I travel Asia and then football is the, my dream. And then I want to try it again, again, again. Right now I like the, my KG or everything is good, like football player. And then this year I will show them my best for Vikings. More than 28 or 30 or something around Asia, Central Asia, the Balkans, Europe. The Middle East, I travel around there. Yeah. And then after that, come to Taiwan, I meet Vikings, and then I start football again. Johnny Nielsen from Denmark and his wife Hope Tsai founded FC Vikings in 2010 to make football more accessible. Over the 13 years, they have provided free football training for elementary school students up to adults. Last year, the team invited Oliver Harley to serve as a head coach. Harley is from Jamaica and has lived in Taiwan for 20 years coaching football. Under his leadership, the team won first place in Division II. My football philosophy, um, well, football has been my life from a child, so I don't really separate football from life. And my coach has always told me that football is life and everything that happens on a football field happens in your life. So I try to let my players know that um, all the principles and the character that they need in life should be demonstrated on a football field and vice versa. So they need to be honest people, upstanding people, help others, you know, um, which is part of football as well. You work as a team. The team's goal is to stay in the Premier League and to one day represent Taiwan in the AFC tournament. Exciting for us to, to move up to the Premier League after only one year in the, the second division. This is something we've been working for the last 13 years. So when we started uh, 13 years ago, many of the kids that started with me at that time, they're now going to play Premier League. So it's, it's a big, big thing for us. Uh, the goal is for us to stay in Premier League this season and, and hopefully we can do good. Um, and you know, just keep on staying there and then maybe one day we can represent Taiwan in the AFC tournament. It's kind of been my goal since um, I started working with football here is to get to the top league and carry a team up. We made a team out of, you know, players from other teams, some that were still the Vikings, young boys, older players, a mishmash of Vikings and put them together and we won the league. So, yeah, very happy about that. Very happy uh, with, the, with the players for the club. Another goal is to help football grow to an even more professional level in Taiwan by working with the community and engaging in cultural exchanges. Last 13 years, what I see is just football is growing slowly but steady. Uh, and, and us being part of that is, is, is something I'm very proud of, something I tell people, not in Taiwan, but at home about. Uh, so that's also why we have strong connection with Denmark, for example, and also the other countries uh, where my coach is from. Very lucky we got the Taipei Stadium 
as our home pitch uh, right next to Taipei Arena uh, where we want to do like more like I talked about before our football culture where I'm from the coaching staff where we're gonna invite different vendors to come and sell food to work more together uh, the youth departments have to be better uh, the sponsorship have to be better as well so uh, so this this is this is what it takes to have more interest for football in Taiwan uh, because the more we can put uh, Taiwanese football on focus in the world, I think the better it is for Taiwan in general. The team will begin their season in April. After 13 years of hard work, the FC Vikings hope to continue to train more football players, helping them to shine in Taiwan and on the international stage. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Sen Sen Han in Taipei.